the time where late President Jair Adua bring peace for this region. He no say carry everybody along. The people when no agree accept amnesty, self ain't talk to them. Then the peace can come, oil can they flow well. Now they say make we protect that oil, make the oil flow well. They can't say now one man then go give, make it come guide my community. In getting community, I get around community. In be man, me I be man. They no consult me, they say me person can't guide my community where pipeline pass. Shell don't do me, Chevron don't do me. Nah, now my own is German, now one can't do me. It no go happen. It no go happen no. Because if they no say all of us na men for this creek where we did, then go call all of us, discuss with us. Now you won't come in another way. Colonial master home pass, multinational home pass. You won't yes. come carry my fellow yes. German and take and enslave me. It no go happen. The pipeline where they talk, he plenty pass for my place, pass the place where they give person to come guide. Now me they go come talk to, before they go talk to the other man, we get lesser. But if they say equity Are no good, the point? then person yeah, will say equity no good. And he won't come to equity with dirty hand, he go see war. But do you believe in peace in the Niger Delta? We don't give peace for Niger Delta before, and we're ready to give peace. But if peace, say now the peace where they go come shoot me, now graveyard peace, me I don't want them. I hope you get the point. I hope you understand it. All right, great people, Margaret people of Biafra. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, Margaret people all over the world. The pipeline guiders are now beginning to understand that one person can never control the pipeline. <laughs> And I hope they are talking to Asari Dokubo. I hope. Because Asari Dokubo and Tom Polo, I don't know who are they guiding the pipeline for. They are beginning to have problem within them. According to the man that we just listened, he said that during Yaradua, he settled it. He gave people amnesty, people like Asari Dokubo. He collected amnesty. He went to other neighboring country, begin to build a university. He has a lot of schools, almost four schools. Asari Dokubo have almost four schools. University. He don't even have a university in a job. Asari Dokubo don't have even kindergarten in a job. He don't have primary school in a job. But he went outside the contraption, which is outside a job, to begin to buy schools and build schools for other people. He did not brought any development. He, Asari Dokubo did not bring or brought any development to his own people. But he's there yapping every single day. Collecting amnesty. The man said it. During Yaradua, they collected amnesty. And who is the person that collected amnesty? It's Asari Dokumbo and his group. They collected amnesty. Now these people are coming to tell them that it's not only for them. It's not only for them. This time around, they have to begin to, you know, to share the money. Because there is no how... Uh, the pipeline will pass through my backyard and uh, you that don't that pipeline did not pass through your backyard is the one that will be going the, the one that going to be guiding the pipeline there is a problem everywhere now you begin to understand it now you begin to understand it the man said colonial master time have gone and the multinational time have gone now is it also a job man is the one that are going to be doing them overthrow. <laughs> and yes, I know say this one will shock all of us. I know say it will shock all of Now I hope say when I don't begin to hear what they happen for each job. And they don't come out, they say they don't go take them again. No. Say no be only one person go to guide the pipeline. And I hope oh, the what they call his name, a dear man. The one that he is a pipeline guider, the Amueba, the pig he called Asari Dokubo. And I know that they are talking to him. I know, I know they are talking to him because he is the one 
that trying to claim the whole pipeline guider. He is the chief of pipeline guider. He wants to sit on pipeline that is not his, uh, his own property or his father's property. But it's only for the whole people of Ijo people. But one person is sitting on top of it, say that he's the pipeline guider. Some people have surfaced and they said that they are not going to take it again. Now you begin to see the problem. Asari Dokumbo, get ready for, the, for, for, the, for this thing that is about to come. Not pushing people from coastal region to hinterland of Biafra. Because you are taking money from pipeline guider. Because you are collecting billions from pipeline, you and Tom Polo, I hope, yes, there is no two ways about it. Now other factions have come out, other factions have come out telling you people that this money no be only on a go chopper. Asari Dokumbo, I hope you are ready, because some people are now know what you know. Some people have stood up. To tell you, to challenge you that this money, you are not going to be eating it alone. Because by you eating the money alone, you are using also the money to intimidate the people from Asia. And now they have stood up. They have understand the ethics of this pipeline guide. That is why they stood up now and telling you that it's not only you. That pipeline can never pass through their backyard. And you that they are coming from nowhere. Living in uh, in Kotonu, building school in Kotonu, in Kafanchan, building school there. Even though you don't have even kindergarten in your place, are uh, the ones that are going to be controlling them. They are telling you no. Asari Dokuba, are you ready? I hope you are ready for these people. Because of course they did not mention your name, but we and we know that you are the chief pipeline guide. You are collecting all the whole money from your people. Even though some of people in Egypt they don't have even uh, oil well, why Sultan of Sokoto have 23 oil wells in your land? Asari Dokubo is just a pipeline guide, yapping every single day, talking all sort of rubbish. Now they have come, people have come. They are now beginning to challenge you, and I know that all these boys that you are parading around i hope by the time they they get to the middle of the, the this business they will understand who you are that you are just stolen money from them using it to build school order in other places even though the where you came from you couldn't build anything this is what i'm bringing to you all and i hope all of you understand that asari dokubo is a criminal asari dokubo is a criminal boys have stood up they have stand on their ground telling they are challenging Asari Dokubo because he collected amnesty. Now he's still sitting on top of the pipeline guide that they have already from a job. They pipe the line from a job to to what they call it. To um what they call it. Is it not um in um in uh, Sudan or Chad? That is where they put the pipeline. Asari Dokubo have your husband. I hope you're listening to what I said. Good day, my people, and welcome.